today is the shoot day. I'm kind of nervous um, because <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, we only have one day to shoot and I have no idea if it's gonna go well and it's my first time. I mean, I did pay like 10 grand or 15 grand for this. So, you know, I hope it's good. Got my script, I don't know if you can see. This is the call sheet. And then I got my shot list so that everyone knows what we're doing. Yeah, these are all like different shots that we're gonna take. I'm gonna go get some packages right now, but I'll be back. Oh, I think I know what this is. I got three pairs of shoes. So thank you, Bessie, for sending me three pairs of shoes. Um, they are sponsoring this video. Thank you very much. Oh, I got a hat. Oh, face mask. Great. Very nice. Oh, they even gave me socks. Hell yeah. This is actually pretty fun. No wonder why people like being YouTubers. All right, so this is the first pair. And this is the second pair. Ooh, this is the final pair, which is a little bit more chic and you could wear it in slightly more formal occasions. They all have something in common, which is that they are waterproof. The problem with my other shoes is that when it gets wet or if it snows, it's gonna, it's gonna penetrate my shoes and then it's gonna make my socks wet. And that is an uncomfortable feeling. And according to my mom, if you have wet socks, you'll get the flu <laughs> or you, you'll get a cold basically and I don't want that okay okay I'm getting I'm getting tired so these are great because they're um, super easy to clean you can just rinse them with water and they'll be clean also the material they use is Dymatex so that means like uh, in the summer, it stays cool, and in the winter, it stays warm. And best of all, it's actually sustainably made. Anyways, for people like me, especially now that I'm a film producer, I'm always out and about. Uh, I go to film shoots, I go to meet people and stuff like that, and I'm in New York now. So I think these are definitely the ones because they keep me warm during the cold, hard winter of New York, and they keep me cool during the harsh summers. So if you like the shoes, you can check out vessi.com slash Joma, or you can use the code Joma for $25 off. Check it out. Anyways, I gotta go to the film shoot now. I'm actually super tired. I mean, they st we start at 8 a.m. and uh, you know how I usually wake up at noon. So this is, uh, is kind of hard. One more package, one more package. I got this thing, I'm not sure what it is. I didn't, I didn't buy this. Um, I think it's Macho. Keeps sending me K-pop stuff. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Anyways, I gotta go. Seriously, um, I'm gonna go get my bag. This for Jonathan. Yeah. Is it? Is it okay if I talk to the camera? Yeah. No yeah. Just want to make sure I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh no, you, you can continue your conversation with your. Uh, you, you sure? Okay, okay, okay. It will be just like two minutes. All right. Anyways, we're heading to the um, to the film shoot, and uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Actually, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, this is me now. I'm gonna head to the filming studio, and yeah, man. Wish me luck. I'll. I'll show you a montage, but I can't really vlog there, so peace.
Can you make it bigger? <laughs> Like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm not that kind of YouTuber. I'm a professional now. I have a real set, bitch. Okay. Oh wait, I'm supposed to talk to the camera. Well, um, so we uh we 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 got the first edit. I got the first edit. No, we. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, so I'm I'm just nervous because um you know. It's my first time doing this. Okay, so we have the first edit, and I am going to look at it now. The horizontal slats are precision machined from high-grade mahogany. All right, so, okay, there are problems with it, especially in the product shots. They just don't look good. They don't look luxurious, and, and, and that's the whole point of the video. Um, I mean, I, I kind of knew this would happen a little bit because um, when we were shooting the uh, product shots, <clears throat> we had a lot of trouble shooting different shots with the window blinds and it, it was a lot more difficult than we thought doing all these fancy camera movements that you see in um, Apple commercials. So I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> I'm okay. <clears throat> I just have to figure out a way to solve this. Things are okay, you know, things are okay. The first draft will always make you want to puke, but if you keep working on it in post-production, it could be okay. Um, so we have a green screen scene, and um, yeah, it's, it just looks too fake. I think I need like an actual VFX person to do. Okay, I just got an idea. I think for the product shots, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna animate the whole thing. We're gonna have a 3D render of a really, really fancy window blind, and then we will render the shots in that way so that we have more flexibility and and, and it'll look way cooler. And I, I think it'll look way, I think, it'll, sorry, I can't speak. I think it'll look way cooler. Luckily for me, I found this talented digital artist, Oleg, to help me create the product shots. He pretty much saved the whole video. We first had to design the window blind itself. Uh, we had many iterations of it. The first version was kind of intense. Um, it, it was really cool, but it looked like a transformer that's going to kill you. We went for a more clean, minimalistic design, but every detail mattered, down to the curvature of the shape to mimic how Apple designs their curves on their MacBook Pros. With, with curvature, like part of this circle, they will look ugly. You need to somehow a little bit change this uh, direction of the of the tangent. And this is, yeah, great, great thing that you pointed out. And also the size of each component of the tilt wand. The size of exactly one eighth of the whole size of the wand. Following logics popularized by Leonardo da Vinci about human proportions and perception of the beauty in the eyes of other humans. While we were working on the different shots of the window blind, I also hired a colorist and spent three hours working with him. I, I mostly watched. I, I, I didn't really do anything. You can't even see it. <laughs> it's like you're conscious speaking. Your dark side. I'll be, I'll be here. I want my audience to be like, I am the CEO. I am the CEO. Look at me. I'm the captain now, you know? <laughs>
but um, but he colored the footage so that the video looks professional and conveyed the mood that I was looking for. If you're not in the industry, you might not even know that this was a thing, but I personally think it makes a huge difference. Did you do something? I, I... Yep, I popped just the highlights on that. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. It looks way better now. <laughs> I, I think it does. I, th I don't know if it's just placebo, but yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> half the time you should do nothing and see what I say. <laughs> you know, just to make sure. <laughs> just to make sure I'm not random, you know. He was basically done, but I still had an hour with him left. So I decided to juice as much work as possible from him. He's like, wait, you know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's do black and white. <laughs> <laughs> then I got my trusty old composer to score the music for this. I've been working with her for quite a few videos now. Oh, and in case you are curious, all of that combined for post-production was another $15,000. So in total, I guess it was around 30 k for this video. We are removing the lift cords from, from your, your window, window blinds. blinds. Blinder, blinders, blinders about people. people. Blinders, blinders about trust, security, and, and privacy that make a difference. It's currently 2.30 a.m. I'm just doing some editing work. Um, lots of things to smooth out and there's also like a, another portion where, um, where I filmed by myself without a production company. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but like this sequence. But I mean, it's coming together, and uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about it. Like to be honest, it's pretty rare that I'm proud of a video. I mean, I could be proud of certain aspects of the video, but usually when I look back at my old videos, I always cringe. You know, um, yeah, I just, I just hate my own videos. But, but, I, but, but this one, I, I think. I mean, I have a feeling I'll hate it in the future too, but I have to say I'm decently proud of myself. Um, I am quite happy with how the video turned out. And I think I actually learned quite a lot from this video. And uh, yeah, I'm just really glad that I had this experience. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's just a tired me talking, but you know. But I mean, I think next time, I probably won't make the same mistakes. I know that I'll have to prepare a lot more pre-production to make sure everything is gonna go well during filming. But yeah, but in general, I do think that this was like super rewarding. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this. You guys, you guys probably don't give a shit, but um, but I don't know, I'm just making this video for myself, I guess. But I, I can't stress how exciting this work is for me. And and, and it's yeah, it's a lot of work and a lot of stress, but it's like the good kind, the good the good stress. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever felt this, but like you're stressed because you care about it. You're stressing for a good reason, because you're excited, you're anxious, but in a good way, you know? And and I think this is what um this is this is this is what I feel like I want to do for the rest of my life. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I could say this because, you know, what if, you know, on, this, on the second shoot, I'm like, oh my God, this is garbage. But, yeah. Basically, what I want to say is that I think this is like the closest that I've ever gotten to, um, you know, to the saying, find a job that you enjoy doing and you will never work a day in your life. You know, I never believed in that line, but... I don't know, I'm starting to. I think this is uh, this is pretty close to that. But, um, but I mean, then again, this is not my job though, right? I'm Technically, I'm still a cog in a machine for big tech companies, so what am I saying? All right, that's it for the video. Peace out.